really quite, quite, quite simple. Product goes into chocolate, chocolate goes on board. Repeat, 42,000 times for Christmas. And that's probably not an exaggeration. So these are the delights. And they kind of get exposed like that. And one at a time, which is why I'm here till one in the morning. 40 pieces to a pound. How many plaques, how many pieces all through my 10 fingers? That's so the hands very, get very washed. Then that's the finished product dried. So this is walnut. So some get completely covered, some are smaller. Beautiful. Well, I don't know about beautiful, it but is. done. Hi, I'm Margie Schmidt. I'm at Schmidt's Candy Store. We've been in Woodhaven for 95 years. My grandfather started it and we're still here. It's grandpa. That's grandpa, the one that who opened started it. It is steeped in tradition and we still do everything the way grandpa did it with the recipes coming over from Germany. My father did it, now I continue to do it. And That's 90 years this. old? Yeah, all not, everything is 90 years old, honey. The store, the floor, the wall. This is the solid pieces, bite size. So tree, bells, Santas, whatever. Uh, and these right. just pop in and out. A lot of tap to get the air bubbles out, but of course there still are plenty of air bubbles because it's imperfect. And that's what my father said to you, put it in and twist it so it doesn't fall out on the kids. I don't know. For such a gruff old man, he watched out for those kids. I think I'd like to be left alone in this room with these scraps for a long time. Now we're in the downstairs area. Yes, this is where the candy is made. This is the heat. So I make my homemade jellies, marshmallow. So this is Carmel Delight. Some people call them turtles. Mm. Can you tell me about the colors in well, your hands? Well, today was candy cane day. I'm down here with my shoulders, pulling it out and kneading it into each other. Like, like kind of like baking a bread, but the reddish kind of tinges the white. So nothing is perfect. Nothing. <laughs> You're not going to get the fancy. We're not going to write on things and all the candy because it's handmade of different sizes and shapes. It's not going to be a uniform look. You're not going to get it in the pre-layered packaging with the descriptions over it because it's not machine made mm -hmm. into a form. So we package it, it's in a simple box, wrap it up. And as most people say, Marge, I don't care about the box, I want your candy. So that's the highest compliment and it keeps me going. What do you think makes your candy taste special? Oh, again, the ingredients. You know. I mean, candy canes are sugar and water, right? That's fine. But then when you're flavoring it with the peppermint, the oil of peppermint is, you know, $105 for 14 ounces because you're putting in oil of peppermint, not artificial, not make-believe flavors, you know. Carmel should be made with heavy cream and milk, not water. <laughs> you taste the difference. You're kind of a one-woman show yes. here. So now I made the jelly. I made the mosh, poured it on top. Oh my so gosh. we have jelly mosh. I'm gonna cut it into pieces. And then I'm gonna take it upstairs and dip it. Then I'm gonna sell it and put it in the box to the customer. <laughs> and somebody wants it mailed, they walk it to the post office. Beginning to end. Two and three in the morning, I'll go home because then I'm making everything oh. to get ready for the next day. But it's okay, I have the summers off. <laughs> So it's the trade-off. Okay. Now it's 16 hour days. It's, it's a lot of physical work. Right. I know what I got into. My father did it. I leave my house. I bought the house next door to my parents. I leave the house. I make a right. I walk up the block the same way that my father walked up the block. I leave the house. I bought the house, one house further down. So I increased my commutation 10%. <laughs> I lived in the 10th house. Now I bought the 11th house. Of all the siblings, I worked with my father. I worked with my father in the basement as he got older and, and sicker. I was the, you know, the right-hand man. I was the apprentice. So I was the only one who knew, you know, how much pectin to put in. It just kind of let me do it another few years and it fell into it. Occasionally, kids will volunteer to help put things in bags. Who wouldn't volunteer at yeah. the candy store? I ask you, but uh, now there's assorted nieces and nephews, neighborhood kids, and you support the neighborhood, the neighborhood supports you. <laughs> every day, every day, every day. I know it's a quarter to three because the door opens and the kids from the local school come in. Hi, Miss Margie. They get a free sample. I send them on their way. Sometimes they have a dollar. Oh my goodness. I'll have a dollar today. How much can I get? How many caramels can I get for a dollar? <laughs> How many gummy bears can I get? And, but every day, quarter to three, mark, mark your watches.
This place is remarkable because it's frozen in time. Yes. Walking through it with the old floors and the, the wood, old floor, it's just the like octagonal tiles. Oh, yes. I just love it so much. How does a business like yours stay open? Well, Grandpa bought the building in 1929. If he didn't, I probably wouldn't be here. Business is not great. It's very busy at holidays. It looks great, but for the amount of work and such that goes in, there's not a lot of homemade candy stores in the five boroughs. They might say it's homemade and maybe they're putting some compound chocolate on an Oreo that mm -hmm. doesn't count. I'm talking about going downstairs, the copper kettles, the mobile tables, right. and making caramel from scratch. Just as price goes, we're, we're holding our own. It's a luxury item, but it's still at $18 a pound. It's not $36 a pound like some of the stores are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're trying to hold on. It's, it's a fun product. You know, you're not buying eggs and milk. This is fun. This yeah. is um, excess. This is the want rather than the need. I personally think it's a need, but... <laughs> I think that this place, from what I'm seeing, it means so much more to this community oh, than a candy yeah, store. Yeah. I mean, and people, as again, they die off. Or the family comes back or people have moved away and they come back and say, wow, Schmitz is still there. Well, that's good. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you later.